June 17th, 9.52 a.m. to support Fan Lobby number two. Welcome back to Obala Justice. We're back in court. Let's continue. This is it! The big day! You get any sleep? Yeah, I went to bed at 1 a.m. or so. Oh, what time did you wake up? 3 a.m. That's only two hours, Apollo. But at least you have me. You and Mr. Hat. And then meets Mr. Hat. Here's looking at you, kid. Good luck today, Apollo. Th that voice. Oh, hi. Hi, Phoenix. Hey, yeah. Can't you sleep? Mr. Wright. I was going out of my mind with boredom, so I signed myself out earlier today. Somehow that place makes fake piano playing seem at the... What? Somehow that <laughs> that place makes fake piano playing at the Indonesia pasta joint seem almost fun. Daddy, do you know who Brassier Gaiman's witness is today? Take a guess. Hmm. How about Little Plum? Haha, <laughs> that's sure been taken by Mom. Nope, guess again. That's too bad, you know. Speaking of moms, you need to find me a new mommy one of these days, Daddy. It's early morning and you're already at it, you see. <laughs> okay, see, this is why I don't buy their father daughter relationship. So, Mr. Wright, do you know who the press here is wishing is? Alita Talia, your client's fiance. She's gonna be a witness. But that seems odd. Why would she testify against her own fiancé? You have to wonder what Gavin's up to. Something's going down today, that much is clear. Well, not to worry. I got my papers back. If you can't find a killer, I'll put one out of there. <laughs> that would be impressive, Juicy, but uh, maybe don't do that. June 17th, I am District Court, uh, Courtroom number two. Four. Four. Not. Not the not the defendant lobby, the courtroom, it's number four. Just get right into it, I guess. Court is now in session for the trial of Waki Kataki. Fence is ready, runner. Prosecution is warmed up and it's a solid out house. Very well, to recap. While yesterday's witness seems more guilty than any other party. Guilty of panty snatching. We did find out one thing for certain. There are three people in the park at the time of the murder. The witness, the victim, and the defendant. Correct, here, Judge. And here, and today, I'd like to do something a little new age. I'd like to look at this horrible crime from the outside. The outside? The acquisition of the murder weapon. The preparation for the act. Our poor defendant told all, you see. To his betrothed. His be betrothed? His fiancée, her Judge. His partner for life, with no chance for parole. Farewell, I may show that you're um, lucky lady to the stand. Hello. The name and occupation, Fraulein. Alita tell Alia, my occupation is future wife. Is that an occupation? If you want it to be, I guess. Ah, traditional values. I respect that. Too many brides these days can't we baskets blindfolded. Underwater. Yet you're here today as a witness for the prosecution. To be honest, I didn't want to testify at first. But... I couldn't hide the truth. Hmm, honesty. Another um, 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 admirable trait. Fraulein, is it true that on the day of the crime, the defendant Waki Kataki confessed his plans? His plans for murder? Yes. The will please give her testimony to the court. Okay. Waki's plan. It was a night that the family health checkup results came back. Maki found out that when Dr. Madaka's had lied, he flew into a rage. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols. And you already know what happened that night. I just don't see anyone but Waki could have done it. So the pistol did belong to the Taki family, didn't it? Yes, with regards to this, investigation is underway at the Kaki Mansion. I'm charged with the possession of legal firearms. And the bullet that took the victim's life, was it... Fired from the pistol that the defendant procured, yes, this has been proven. How can you prove something like that? Both scary marks from the barrel that fired them, called rifling marks. Rifling marks? Think of them as being a gun's fingerprint, left on every bullet that fires. When did you first hear about Waki's plan? It was the day of the murder. I- I should have stopped him. I just didn't think he would actually do it. Very well. Fitz may begin the aggressive nation. Hmm, okay.
He applied. I'll teach him. Hmm. Let's start with this. It must have been um, quite frightening. He was furious. He ripped the report up to shreds. Didn't he? I had to request another copy to file his evidence. The bothersome chore, but when I perform without complaint. Arcazade gets raised, hard to control when he loses his temper. Of course, that little bit of his instability is so cute. Great, now he sounds like a psychopath. I'll teach him. Hmm. How can you say that for certain? How? Ah! Hit the wall. Hey, forehead, you were fine from battering them for a line. It was the defendant, or um, Rocky, was it, that took the business from his home. We do this for a fact now. I suppose we do. So how can anyone else have used this pistol to shoot the victim? They could have not. Simple logic. Sure. Doesn't seem to be the case. Does the defense have anything to say regarding this point? Someone else have used that pistol. I mean, there's Rocky fingerprints on it, right? I mean, yes. Somebody could have. I mean, the prints are wiped. Based on your testimony, there's clearly another. One other person had access to that pistol. What's this? Hmm, interesting. Let's hear this defense then. Tell the court who this other person with access was. I mean. You. Of course, I mean, you, Miss Talia. Me? But why? You were quite clear when you told the court. You heard about the pistol from the defendant on the day of the murder. In other words, you knew what he was planning. Let me get this straight. You tend to tell us that the, f the lady stole the pistol from her fiancé. And killed the man in cold blood on his behalf. I've heard of people doing strange things for love, but this... Just seemed a bit uh, unfathomable, to be sure. I'm all for romance, and supporting a partner in life, to be sure. But I think I'd hesitate at murder. I'd have to do more than testate. What if a different connection could be proven? Connection between the witness and the victim. Might find that she had a personal motive beyond wanting to help her fiancé. Hmm, that would put things in a slightly different light. What possible connection are you suggesting here? You know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think that the police never looked inside that safe. They haven't shown a connection between the witness, Miss Tully, and the victim. This chart. Right here. It looks like a medical chart. Found inside a safe at the Murdoch's clinic. I'd like to draw the court's attention to the names written on the chart. What? Miss Talia, whatever... Why is your name on this chart? I will care to explain the meaning of this, Miss Talia. I'm not sure what you mean by... I'm not sure what you mean by meeting Mr. Justice. Oh, my fiancé just froze over. I was at Steph at that clinic lap a year ago. It was boring, so I quit. That's all. Is there a problem with that? Miss Talia! You testified that you had no connection to the victim. And I don't. Now. Now? I could have a year ago, didn't I? So there's no connection. Let me guess. You're the kind of guy. You can't rest until he knows every last detail of his girlfriend's past. Am I right? That's not true at all. I, I embrace the ones I love. Past laws and all. I mean, there's no connection now. Doesn't fly in a court of law. Doesn't fly. She's the one tough nut. She probably feels right at home with the talkies. Let's do job at the Mertonics Clinic, sure. But you remain connected somehow. Very well, Mr. Justice. Towards evidence that proves the witness is still connected to the Mertonics Clinic. I mean, your slipper, your sandals were there. Your sandals were found in the Mertonics Clinic lobby. They're yours, aren't they? Ah! But, well, who knows? I'm sure there are lots of people with those sandals. So sorry, Fraulein, but your act isn't working. Your moment of hesitation just now cost you. What's with you? I thought you were on my side. Perhaps you're unaware that toes leave sh two prints. Simply announce that these sandals reveal all. Well, now we see your true colors. I was wrong to cooperate with you from the beginning. I just wanted... I just wanted you to help get Waki back in the straight and narrow. 
Hmm, the squirt things you need to worry less about Waki and more about yourself. In other words, we need to hear a bit more about your story. Your sales were found in the entrance of the clinic, which means you went there on the day of the murder. Well, there's little point in denying it. Very well, so when is what tell us about this visit? Why did you go to the Matakas clinic that day? Hmm. I had to go to the clinic that day, my first time in half a year since I quit in January. I went to warn him, after all, I knew Waki had the pistol. The doctor was always a timid man, too timid to admit his own mistake. Where else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. I wanted to tell him to be careful, as an old friend. Hmm. By mistake, you mean the mistake we heard about from the defendant? The botched operation. He was a timid small man, but I never wished him harm. I just thought I should let him know, you know? Hmm, that does make sense. Yes, but there is one thing which does not. What's that, Prosecutor Gavin? The sandals left in the lobby, of course. We assume she wore these sandals to the clinic. Ah. Why does she not wear them home? If it were me, I would have worn them home. I would have worn those, home, those sandals home, too. So why were the sandals left behind? Ah, you pointed out the contract before me. There's probably a good explanation for this, right, Miss Talia? Say, for instance, there happened to be a similar pair of sandals there which you were home by mistake. Actually, that's right. I'm impressed, Mr. Gavin. Oh, it's nothing. There is, after all, no other possible explanation. Ja, forehead. Well, what the? No fair. He's filling in the holes in her testimony. Before I can even get to them. Defense may begin the cross examination. Okay. I don't buy that reason either, though. Because he said. Because they're present. Did you add that to your testimony? Mm, no. Okay. Well, there's no clear... I'll start over here for now. Did you want Mr. Dr. Matakas to run away? Well, after I failed to stop Waki, I thought it's the only other option to avoid the problem. Couldn't you have called my own person? I called several times that evening, but no one was in. The victim was busy driving home until 9pm that night, remember? This was proven by the mirror yesterday, yeah? I thought if I warned him, he would run away for sure. Run the doctor. Hmm. You don't had any dark secrets, you say? No dark secrets, eh? What? Look at me however you want, Mr. Justice, but you won't find a thing. He's hiding something, I know it. I have some evidence that proves it, too. You're free to think whatever you like. I went to that clinic with only one thought in mind. Hmm. But then you'd be betraying Waki, wouldn't you? No, I did it for him. For us. I wanted to warn him so that around here would not have to commit such a crime, yeah? I didn't want them to take Waki away. There's no way she went to that clinic just to warn him. You know why she went, Apollo? I'm afraid it wouldn't really happen in that clinic. Fast. Hmm. I mean, is your dark secret not... Not the fact that you knew about... The fact he was gonna die in like a year. Is that not your dark secret? Objection! This chart was found inside a safe to the doctor's office. Yes. Well, this one chart be in that safe. Miss Talia, you know why it was, don't you? I'm feeling me in. Dr. Mahakas didn't have the leisure of making mistakes. That's why he wrote up a false report and kept the truth locked away. Bad hair doctor. This is where you come in, Miss Talia. The nurse who fired this chart was you, which means you knew about Waki's fall operation. Interesting. You're in the same position as Dr. Matakis. Kinda makes it hard to claim no connection, doesn't it? You're both friend, novice. I'll give you that. Mr. Justice, you must know I was only a nurse. The doctor is responsible for the chart's contents. Hmm, the shortest business seems to be quite important. 
Please admit your testimony recording. Too bad, little attorney. Oh. What are you, what, what are you hiding there, miss? I feels it. Bracelet's reacting again. What is it, Apollo? I felt my bracelet vibrate just now. Your bracelet? It's like yesterday. You said. Miss is unsure of something. The nervous habit gives him away. But I can't see anything, Apollo. Hey. Eh? Then what's my bracelet reacting to? Wait, maybe... Yes, it has to be it. What has to be it? Your senses, Apollo. It must be sharper than mine. Huh? I can't see it, but you can sense it. I don't know about that, Juicy. I don't have any special power or anything. This is me, Apollo. There's a weak point somewhere in Miss Talia's testimony. But we don't know what our nervous habit is. Well, what should we do? You have to perceive it yourself, Apollo. With your eyes. And your senses. It's up to me and my bracelet. I don't know why, but the bracelet helps. Somehow touching it makes helps me focus. Let's give it a shot and bring that testimony. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm. Dying a little, but that's okay. Can I? Why would you go? Oh, hey, you're moving the ring. Stop it. I see you doing it. Gotcha. I go to the clinic for a half year old chart now, you say. But you know why you would go now, would don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's quite clear, Miss Tully, you have a nervous habit. The moment you said the word now, use your right thumb f to fiddle. To fiddle? To fiddle? I don't. To fiddle with your ring. W what? She was unsure, I saw it. Now, that's the key word. A chart wrist isn't a, pair of your p wasn't a part of your past. It was a clear and present threat. That's ridiculous. Why, if that were the case, what if it's six months to do something about it? Indeed. Eh? Which means something happened quite recently. Something to make that chart a problem for you now. Got to run the ropes now, I can feel it. Time to strike the killing blow, with evidence. Miss Talia, there's no use trying to hide it. The chart became a threat to you now because of this. Because of the checkup report? Because of the checkup report. Health checkup report. Belonging to the defendant. The attackers are trying to get out of the business. Health checkup this month was their first ever. What did you think when you heard about this? Eh, oh, n nothing. Why should I think anything? Oh, I think you were positively beside yourself because you were afraid. You know the walkie's chest x ray would reveal. You know what it would reveal? It would, a bullet. Eh. <laughs> if it went half a year had passed since the operation, you thought you were at home free. And the chart came back to haunt you. Eh! That's all, Your Honor. What just happened? Did the witness just admit to lying? I sensed it. There was a great aura emanating from her forehead. Very cool. So the lady was lying, it seems. That's correct. She said she had no connection to the Murdoch's clinic. Their connection was deep indeed, a bit too deep. Murdoch's got a hold of this chart with her name. To be finished. Isn't that right, Miss Talia? You guessed it. Order! Order! I did it. I broke her testimony. Amazing, Apollo. I didn't even see it at all. Hey, I was right about you. Wait. Miss Talia. It's true. The chart was bad news for me. That's why I went to meet the doctor that day. That's all. I told him about Waki went home. It appears this cross-examination is far from over. What? what? She had the truth from us. This is clear, yet... It's not clear that this test truth has anything to do with the case at hand. Hmm. Very well. Who's will add her testimony? And we'll have a bit more cross-examination. 
Ah, I'm so close. You're still so close. Keep on her, Apollo. Hmm. Well, I thought we'd make a breakthrough, but no, we haven't. We're just still with us. Alright, next time we'll come back, we will continue on and see if we can break this testimony once and for all. So until then.